the primary purpose of this was to record a song for for the new Muscle Shoals documentary, and uh, I was dealing with with Rodney Hall, who's the son of Rick Hall, who founded this studio, Fame Studios and, and Recording Company, and one of the first hits they had on the Fame label was called Steal Away by a singer named Jimmy Hughes. And that's been a favorite of mine for, for a very long time. So we ended up recording that. And not only did we record it in the, in, in the room that they recorded it in, but also with some of the same guys who played on it, including uh, Spooner Oldham on keyboards and David Hood on bass and Jimmy Johnson on guitar. And those guys have just been heroes of mine, you know, for, for about you know, as long as I have been listening to soul music. That's great. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. Just show me that lick, man. What's that? Uh, they played on everything you can imagine, from "When a Man Loves a Woman" by Percy Sledge to "Funky Broadway," Wilson Pickett, all this, all these records that I grew up listening to, and and you know, this was really an honor for me to come down here and and be able to stand in the same room and and play with these guys, you know, and they're just you know regular guys who've been making records the same way for for 50 years, you know, and we decided that the best way to cut records was the way they used to do it back in the 60s, where it's just all of us in the same room together with with me on the microphone in the center of the room and and just you know hollering as as loud as i could trying to get it to to sound the same way so that's those are that's that's the chorus uh, which is the first part you guys will do <laughs> all right all right all right all right we got a lot of good outtakes in the box right now guys two choruses and then the solo and then come back to the verse after the solo. I think we pulled it off and you know it's really just been quite an experience just to be in in the, in the room and talking to these guys and you know there was certainly no ego involved on anybody's part they were all just there to make music which is what they've been doing for their whole lives and I was honored to be able to just step into this and to make some music with them you know and, and we recorded also a version of the song Shock to the System which is going to be on my new album and we decided to do a, a sort of live from Muscle Shoals version of this song because I felt like those guys could really add their their special brand of funk that they have to that song and we did it and and I got to tell you it sounds it sounds great Like more like kind of shit, like a, yeah, you can do that. We cut it the same way with everybody live in the room, and that was really something special. And then the third song we cut was was a song that uh, has always been a favorite of mine for a real long time um, by a group called The Violent Heirs, and it's called I Don't Know What the World is Coming to. Just, just, it doesn't, it doesn't, the first time it doesn't do the... And it's sort of a gospel song, but it's also sort of just a kind of a message song. And I felt like, again, those guys, Jimmy and, and David and Spooner, could really bring their, their special energy. And I also want to say, uh, we had Larry Byram on keyboards as well and Kelvin Holly on guitar. And those guys are no slouches as well. Okay. And then you all come back in. Is that a double, a double five? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I think dun. so, yeah. Is yeah. there more time after that? No, that's just four. Just four, okay. Yeah, it's just four, exactly we were able to really knock these songs out in an unbelievably fast amount of time and I think that just has to do with everything involved with the quality of the musicians and the quality of the sound and also just the specialness of the surroundings that we're in and that really was just it, it, the whole the whole day I was just kind of pinching myself just thinking about how how special it was to be here making these kind of records <laughs> 